Welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to the beautiful state of Maine. So good to see you again. We are in Bangor, Maine. And we're in front of the one, the only, the ultimate master of horror films, writers, Stephen King's house. Wow, this is really incredible, right here in front of Stephen King's house. This it, is completely amazing. It's It does have that eerie feeling, though. Brenda, what's your favorite Stephen King I think movie? my favorite is the first Carrie. I mean, the books, any of them, are just keep you awake all night. Cemetery, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Salem's Lot kind of guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want something that's going to move you up out of your chair? Salem's Lot. But he has different things within his wrought iron fence surrounding his home that exemplify some of these different stories too. That's what makes it really cool. You have the devil horns right here. Look at the K. Even that's a little creepy. Followed up with a claw. If we go a little farther down, we have a three-headed dragon. As you stand at Stephen King's front gate, you have bats at both sides. Looking down the gate, it's a spider web with his address, a four and a seven. <laughs> of a woman's leg that it has appeared on this monument for centuries. They have changed out the stone. They have scrubbed it. They have made multiple attempts to make this go away, yet it keeps coming back. On the top of it right there sideways now Colonel Buck and the witch supposedly had had a child together in common that was born deformed later on their 
there's other parts of the ledge that says she was pregnant prior to her either burning or hanging her, you know. So, yeah, so take it for what it is. They were, they were an item. This used to be the Ramada Inn, and as you'll see in some of the video that we show, it's got a very storied past, and it gets a little creepy sometimes. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for spending your time with us. If you liked what you saw, please hit that like button. We'd also greatly appreciate it if you'd subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell for notification of future videos. Thank you. Thank you.